We're about to talk about my very favorite. It's the one, the only, Degusta Box. Degusta Box is a monthly food subscription. It is $19.95 a month. Your first box is $9.95 a month. And they send you a mixture of pantry and snack items every month. Um, typically there's a theme. I'm hoping because it's February, there's lots of chocolate in here. Let's keep hope alive. Um, every month comes in a box that looks like this. Oh, let me find the front label for you. Here you go, Degusta box. And it's got tons of little food, dancing, food drawings, dancing food drawings, food dancing food drawings. Let's keep saying it until we get it right. All around the logo. And when you open it up, it looks like this. Heavier than I anticipated this month. It says, open me, eat me, enjoy me on that sticker there. I'm gonna stop trying to strong man and, and hold it up and just get into what's in the box. Um, they are one of the subscription boxes that I have subscribed to the longest. Speaking of subscription boxes I've subscribed to the longest, a funny thing happened with my Ipsy. My card expired. So now my subscription stopped. I haven't decided if I'm going to do anything about that yet. I love getting makeup in the mail every month, but I feel like I just have so much of it. But then I feel really attached. If it were my Degusta box, I would have fixed that problem five minutes before it started. Let's get real about what's more important to me, make up the food. Food. Okay. So uh, the first thing I see in here is some coupons. Globally inspired Spice Hunter. No, this isn't a coupon. This is telling me probably how to um, make a recipe with one of the things that's in here. Grilled coconut shrimp with pineapple. I love all of those things. And this is Tiger Tail Classic How to Make a Super Cubano Sandwich. Cubano? Cubano? I don't know. Someone tell me what the proper way to say it is. Um, I don't even know what kind. Oh, it's a mustard. I don't eat mustard. So if that's in there, it will go to someone else gladly. Here you go. Um, this is the box that came. I won't stare at it too hard. At a glance, I don't see any chocolate on here, Degusta box. What the hell? Uh, let's start pulling things out and see what's in here. This is a Bobbly Thin Crust Pizza Crust. You know, I got a pizza crust from them a couple months back, and I never used it. It's probably, it's definitely still good. I just haven't taken it out of my cupboard because I've been trying to eat a little better. Um, but now maybe I can have a pizza party with two pizzas. Um, so I don't just sit around and eat an entire pizza by myself. So those always come in handy. Next thing in here is original grounded snacks. These are aged white cheddar, red rice, and quinoa tortilla chips. I love anything that's white cheddar flavored. You know, Smart Pop that's white cheddar flavored. I could sit down and eat an entire bag of that, so I just don't buy it anymore. Um, but these will probably be super good because I love tortilla chips. I love aged white cheddar. Um, so there, those are those. There's more bobbly in here. This is a pizza sauce. Ooh, they're pizza sauce packets. It contains three sauce packets. Um, I am not a big packaged or jawed sauce person, um, but for the sake of being lazy and putting this on a pre-made pizza crust, I will absolutely use this. Um, that way I don't have to think about making a sauce with pizza or using pesto like I usually do, which gets tricky because it gets greasy real fast and Pizza's supposed to be greasy, but not so much that it's like dripping, which has happened to me before. So thank you, Bobbly, for making this easy on me. Uh, what else is in here? Is it just all pizza ingredients? Because I would not object. Uh, no, it's Goya. They love this brand. Uh, I love this brand. I own so many Goya products uh, from subscribing to Degusta Box. It's not even funny. So this is Goya Traditional Refried Pinto Beans. I was just talking about making Huevos Rancheros uh, for breakfast sometime soon because I love them and I've never made them on my own. I just got super into runny eggs. Like you couldn't get me to touch a runny egg a year ago and now all of a sudden I am all about that runny egg life. Uh, this one is refried black beans. So same brand, both refried. This one's pinto, this one's black. Yeah, this one's pinto, this one's black. Um, so awesome things to keep in your cupboard. It's all this fun packaging stuff that comes in here. 
This is a Luna Bar Lemon Zest. I've had many Luna Bars before, but never the Lemon Zest ones before. There are, it came with three, um, and they're all the same flavor. So I will check those out. I think I've only had the, the chocolate varieties um, of Luna Bar before. Um, and then there are a few more things in here, all in bubble wrap. Oh, no, nope, here's that mustard that I'm not gonna eat. Someone in my life, you just won mustard. I won't put this in a giveaway because that's freaking weird. Um, but someone in my life will get a, a thing of mustard. Um, all right, let's see. There are three more things in here and they are all in bubble wrap. This is Coriander Lime Spice Hunter Global Fusion Rub. Um, I love a good spice. I have quite the collection in my cabinet, so this will get added to it. And then if I like it, there's a coupon on there for me to go buy more. Try all seven. Try all seven rubs. That's what she said. Um, let's see. This is, uh-oh, I see something else I'm not going to eat in here. I'm weird about sauces, guys. Really just ketchup and mustard. This um, Sir Kensington ketchup, I got the Sir Kensington mustard and I gave it away. And then they sent me like a little sample size of the Sir Kensington ketchup. Um, and I never tried it because I don't eat that, but someone, your life is about to be, your condiment life is about to be just a little more complete when I hand these to you. Um, so that was that. And last thing in here is, huh, this is Mrs. Renfro's Texas Red Amber Ale Craft Beer Salsa. So this is a salsa that you eat with chips. I'm more than happy to try that. Um, yeah, so that was everything in my Degusta box. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is probably the most disappointing box I've ever gotten. I feel like there wasn't a whole lot of variety. I feel like it was uh, all savory stuff and all stuff that I don't particularly go crazy over. So, um... We'll try again next month, Degusta Box. You're still my favorite. I'm not doubting you. I am yelling and my dog is jumping around down here. I feel bad. I'm just passionate. I'm just passionate about food. That being said, have a wonderful day. I will talk to you guys later. Keep eating your snacks. I guess I'll have to find chocolate elsewhere. Bye.